Hi, welcome to my video on solving equations with ln, ln, the natural logarithm. And this is part two. Solve for x in terms of e. Again, I have an equation which has the absolute value, which is these two symbols, strokes, and they're not parallel lines. The absolute value of ln x, all squared, equals four. So it's the square of the absolute value of ln x. So we'll do the square root of the absolute value of ln x squared equals plus or minus the square root of 4. So that's the absolute value of ln x equals plus or minus 2. So that means the ln of the absolute value of x is equal to 2 or the ln of the absolute value of x equals negative 2. And so the ln is po always positive, so this means this number here can be plus or minus. So the ln of x is equal to 2, or the ln of x is equal to negative 2. If the ln of x is equal to 2, the log of x base e equals 2. So base z exponent is 2 equals x. The ln of x equals negative 2. The ln, you can't, the ln or log is of a number is always positive. It can't be negative. And the absolute value of the ln of x is negative 2. The absolute value is always positive. So we got to know here. So the answer to this one is e squared. x is e squared. Now I have another equation, almost identical, but I have the square on the absolute value, the ln of the absolute value of x squared. So this is done different. This is the square of the absolute value of the ln of x, but here I have to go log absolute value of x squared base e equals 4. Now I change it to e to the fourth power equals the absolute value of x squared, base exponent number. So I'm going to change this around just to keep it. The x is on the left side. So now I have a square. So I will do the square root of each side, plus minus square root of e to the fourth. Square root of the absolute value of of x squared is just the absolute value of x and this is plus or minus the square root of e to the fourth is e squared so that means we have the absolute value of x equals e squared or the absolute value of x is equal to negative e squared and if the absolute value of x equals e squared that means that x is equal to e squared or negative e squared is the absolute value this number in here can be plus or minus and the absolute value equals negative e squared the absolute value is always positive so no so the answer to this problem is e squared or negative e squared again the equation is arranged differently the square is in a different position now we have another one is the ln of the absolute value of x squared equals 4. And the square is inside the absolute value on the x. So the ln log of absolute value of x squared base c equals 4. So that means base exponent number. So let's change this around. The ln, the ln of x squared equals e to the fourth. So because we have, this is the absolute value now, so that means that x squared is equal to e to the fourth, or x squared is equal to negative e to the fourth. Because, because the x squared is inside, the x squared would be a positive or a negative. So now we have x squared equals e to the fourth, the square root 
of x squared equals the plus or minus the square root of e to the fourth. The square root of x squared is x equals plus or minus square root of e to the fourth is e squared. So that means x is equal to positive e squared or negative e squared. And over here, we will do square root of x squared equals the plus minus square root of the negative e to the fourth. Square root of x squared is x plus or minus. Now, up here I'll do the square root of a negative e to the fourth. That's the same as a negative one times e to the fourth. And that's the same as the square root of a negative one times the square root of e to the fourth. Square root of a negative one is the imaginary number, and that's e squared. So this is plus or minus i e squared. This is an imaginary number because the square root of a negative. So in logs, we cannot deal with the square root of a negative number. So this is a no here. So the answer is e squared or negative e squared. So that's three equations that I thought about in relation to absolute value in terms of a long, some, some extra problems to help you think what the long is doing, what the absolute value is doing. And if you like my video, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button if you wish. If you're not a subscriber, visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content that I have on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video helped you. Bye-bye.